HLTV releases the top players of the year at the end of each year. They take into account both individual player achievements and those of their teams. Every player, from amateur to professionals, experiences good and bad periods, hitting peaks and lows in their form and performance. This constant ebb and flow introduces new faces to the top rankings each year. But what and who remains unchanged? That's simple. He consistently maintains his position, not dropping below the second rank for five years. He's also been hailed as the greatest professional player of all time since CSGO inception. Undoubtedly, he is a one-off, a result achieved by only 0.1 of professional players. Individuals like Simple are 1 in 100 million. But his accomplishments aren't solely attributed to talent. They also depend on his training schedule and approach to all the aspects of the game. And one of these aspects is his setup. Today in the video, you'll discover all his settings, from video and audio configurations to his crosshair and hand placement. Before we dive in, watch the video till the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our future content. Let's start with Simple's devices and their settings. He uses the Logitech G Pro Superlight mouse which has become a classic. I assume most are familiar with it, so let's not talk about the details. On the mouse itself, he sets a standard 400 dpi and a 1000 Hz polling rate. Now when it comes to mouse sensitivity in the game, it's not as straightforward as we can assume. His sensitivity is relatively high at 3.09. This is due to the simple's primary role as a sniper in the team, requiring his execute flicks. With this sensitivity, he faces no issues handing quick movements. His headphones are also from Logitech, specifically the G Pro X2. It's the perfect combination on weight and sound quality, crucial for someone spending 10 hours a day in front of a computer. Or perhaps he chose them because Logitech sponsors the Navi's team and he needs to use their products. Who knows? In the game, his sound settings are as follows. EQ Profile Natural This preset doesn't alter sounds. They reach you without any processing. Left and right isolation 0% This provides a strong distinction between left and right. Perspective correction, no. Sound emitters at the edge of your field of view will sound distinctly panned to either left or right, respectively. Simple, like most players, plays with a stretch resolution, specifically 1280 to 960. It offers the best balance between field of view and image quality. Even though tournaments commonly use monitors with 240Hz, he uses a Zoe XL 2566K a monitor at home. Which supports a refresh rate at 360Hz, he sets it to the maximal value. The brightness is set at 93%. With that covered, let's move on to the advanced settings. Boost player contrast disabled as this setting consumes a few FPS and, at a distance, especially when the opponent stands in the shaded area, they appear more like a black spot than a player model. Vertical Sync – Disabled, because it ties FPS to the monitor's refresh rate. For Simple, who has a powerful computer, maximizing the frame rate is essential, as the game can consistently deliver 360 frames, leading to stutters. Multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode Edix MACA. This makes the image smoother and more visually pleasing. Global shadow quality very high. It offers a significant advantage as shadows react to any light source, allowing one to spot opponents before they emerge. Model and texture detail low. It only affects texture quality, offering no competitive advantage, but it might be important to others, not to simple. Texture filtering mode, billionaire. Similar to the previous setting, its visual impact doesn't justify the low FPS. Shadow detail, high. Improves the quality of effects like Molotov fire. Particle detail, low. Since it doesn't affect the visual significantly, a love setting is used to preserve FPS. Ambient occlusion, medium. Roughly, it adds realism by calculating light intensity. High dynamic range, quality, controls the brightness range between the brightest and darkest pixels. Fidelity FX Super Resolution, disabled. 
NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency – Disabled. As this technology is relatively new, its performance is not optimal yet. For better game optimization, tweaking the NVIDIA control panel, which involves settings for the graphics card, is necessary. The first step is setting the monitor refresh rate to 360Hz. In the Adjust Desktop Color and Settings section, simple checks if digital vibrance is set to 50%. Previously, he used 100% which strained his eyes. In the Manage 3D Settings tab, no changes are made, as he has powerful PC and isn't changing unnecessary FPS. Lastly, simple adjust the adjust desktop size and the position, changing the following settings. Scaling mode, full screen. Perform scaling, GPU. He also checks the box for override the scaling mode set by games and programs. The launch settings are another crucial aspect of game settings. They help launch the game with the right configurations for optimization, increase smoothness, FPS and also allow you to input comments needed in the console when entering the game. Some of the comments simple uses include Frequency – 360 Changes the refresh rate to 360 Hz Novit – Removes the initial splash screen when launching the game Console – Automatically opens the console upon game launch FPS Max 0 – Removes the FPS limit you can find all these comments in the video description. And now let's move on to the crosshair settings. In reality, these settings often change, so I wouldn't dwell on them too much, but I'll still show you what he's using at the moment. Crosshair color 4, style 4, size 2, thickness 1, end gap minus 3. This is how it looks in the game. It's quite large and wide. I believe it's because the maps in CS2 have become much brighter, making it difficult to notice a thin and small crosshair, which was preferred by Simple. You'll find the code for this crosshair in the video description. His hand settings are quite standard and I've discussed them in detail in one of my previous videos where I talked about the ROP settings. If you are curious about why professionals use this particular view model, you can check out the video by following the hint in the upper right corner. But just to remind you, view model for 68, view model offset x 2.5, view model offset y 0, view model offset z minus 1.5, and view model preset pose 3. And lastly, what might be helpful for you in simple settings is his radar's configuration. Radar centers the player, yes. Radar is rotating, yes. Radar hood size, 0.83. Radar map zoom, 0.45. Toggle shape with scoreboard, yes. It covers all of simple settings that could be useful for you. Remember, Coping his settings won't make you play like him, because the game needs to be adjusted for you and your own preferences. The video is meant to help you find some useful settings and general trends. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content. See you soon, bye bye!